What's going on everybody? Today's video is all about the Tastemakers kit from Liquid Barn. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development. And here at JFM Development, we are all about the community, helping you learn how to mix, do DIY, learn your flavors, and generally anything having to do with DIY. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and watch all the content this channel has to offer. Now today I have a very exciting product for you today. It's a product review for Liquid Barn. Yes, Liquid Barn has contacted me again to review another one of their products. It is in their Tastemakers kit, but you can also buy this flavor separate. It's a very awesome flavor. Uh, and today's flavor, of course, is the white chocolate peppermint. Now, if you have any question on how the Tastemakers kit actually works, click on the video. I should have it linked in a card right above here somewhere. And you can click on it and learn about the Tastemaker kit itself. Now, the white chocolate peppermint is a re-release from Liquid Barn. And this is very exciting because last Christmas, this was a very raved after flavor. They did a limited run of it, and by the time I ended up trying to get it, I couldn't get my hands on it. It was sold out. So this is definitely a great, great flavor that is well sought after, so I'm very happy that Liquid Barn brought it back. But that's all the hype. How does it actually taste? Well, that's a good question. That's what we're going to do here today. So, of course, I rewicked the atomizer actually for this so I could get a fresh taste of exactly what this tastes like. And I prepared this time a sample. I actually made up this sample of this white chocolate peppermint two weeks ago. So this has a two week steep on it. Perfect timing. Now, does it need two weeks? Well, that's a good question. I actually tasted this mix right off the bat and I know exactly how it tastes of as a shaken vape. And it will be interesting to compare the two and see how long it actually takes and the differences. So, of course, just a quick recap, if you don't want to click on the video showing you the Tastemakers kit, uh, just a quick recap. This comes in a cool little box like this. It has everything you need to get started. Pretty much it comes with a 60 mil of flavoring, in this case white chocolate peppermint. It comes with the Unicorn Gorilla bottle. And it comes with this Tastemakers card right here. And all you have to do is... On the bottle, it'll say the percentages that it recommends, but you can put as much or as little flavoring as you want. So all you do is you line up the bottle to the card and you put the percentage that you want to put in for flavor, depending on if you like it strong, if you like it a little bit weaker, if you're sensitive to flavorings, the Tastemakers kit has you covered. And then Liquid Barn also offers these bases so say you uh, vape zero milligrams liquid barn can do that if you vape three milligrams liquid barn can do that and basically it's your VG, PG and Nick already mixed up and blended into one container so again if that's something you're interested in or you want a, a bigger explaining of how the tastemaker kit works please click on that video it's a great video it goes through everything in detail and it's just awesome. And it also shows you their strawberry cheesecake recipe, which is a very good, very good flavor. One of my favorites. I'm already almost out of it. So that, that kind of stinks. I'm going to have to buy more soon. <laughs> All right. So first, before we actually taste the liquid, let's discuss the flavoring real quick. So the flavoring comes in the 60 ml bottle, and it's really convenient. It has this pour cap, and it allows you to drip right into the unicorn bottle with no problems. You don't need any kind of measuring equipment. All these bottles come fully sealed, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And if I'm smelling it, what I smell is, I smell peppermint, of course. And then you can actually smell white chocolate. It almost smells like a uh, white York peppermint patty. Alright, so I'm going to put the cap on, and I'm going to taste a drop on the back of my hand and let you know what I think of it. Oh yeah, it's so good. Even when you taste it, you can taste the peppermint, you can taste the white chocolate. And the best part about this, this is a good standalone flavor. Uh, just from tasting on the back of my hand. Now I haven't vaped it yet, but from the taste of it, 
it tastes creamy like you can it, it's crazy not a lot of flavors you get that from you can actually taste the creaminess of the flavor right away like the creaminess of the white chocolate and then you get the peppermint very good all right so also one other thing that they have in the kit that i forgot to mention is they give you labels they give you a label so that's pretty cool you can actually put what you have on it how many milligrams and everything so Last time my other kit didn't have that. This kit has a label on it. So that's cool. You can mark your bottles. So on the bottle real quick, uh, for the recommended usage percentage, it does say 12%. It also says that it's uh, propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin base. So for you DIY nerds out there, like myself, it's propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin based. And it has 12, it calls for 12% flavoring as a standalone. Now, again, I haven't mixed this up with anything but itself, okay? So this is just white chocolate peppermint and then uh, the VGPG base, zero milligrams. So I'm just going to drip it on my atomizer and we're going to try this out. Okay, so we have it all dripped on the atomizer. Let's give it a shot. Ready? Cheers. That's an amazing flavor. What I'm getting from this is kind of exactly, this is like one of the first times it's actually been exactly like what it tastes like on the hand. What I'm getting from this mix is I'm getting the peppermint right off the bat, okay? And then you get that white chocolate and it's just not like a flat white chocolate. Like usually when you're dealing with single flavorings without boosting it, like maybe adding other like chocolates to support it or maybe some creams, Usually the mix will fall flat. Usually flavorings fall flat in standalones. But this one is definitely an exception. I can taste creaminess to the white chocolate, which is really nice. What I'm also noticing too is, as I said, I vaped this right away when I first made it. So I know the differences between when you shake and vape it and between a two-week steep. And this has two-week steep. I would say the colors, the color as in the tint of the liquid has uh, tinted a little bit, not too much, but it shifted a little bit so it's not as clear. But also what I'm noticing is it seems like it tastes a little bit creamier and the peppermint has settled down a little bit. But it's good, like the peppermint isn't overwhelming, but it's still good. Like when you get this, you want a good peppermint and you want white chocolate. And it seems like it's a very well balanced at that percentage range. So 12%, yeah, if you love your white chocolate peppermint, this is definitely the thing to do. I would like to see how I could like mix this with other flavors, like making a white chocolate peppermint latte or something along those lines. So I, I would definitely love to see what else I can do with this flavor other than a single flavor mix. Now as for this taste makers kit, do I think this flavor is worth it? Yes, I think this is an awesome flavor. I think this flavor is gonna definitely be for a niche of people, people who like that white chocolate peppermint flavor. Uh, this is probably the best one in its class. This is probably the best white chocolate I've ever had. Never mind the peppermint. This is probably the best white chocolate I have had to date. Uh, and considering you can use this as a standalone, like I tell you the truth, I don't need to do anything to this. This flavor is already perfect and it tastes great. So uh, I definitely am going to give this one a two thumbs up. The flavor is nice. Uh, it, it's good any time of year. I mean, this is definitely more of a Christmas type flavor, but you can, you can enjoy this any time of year. And I'm definitely glad I have this into my liquid barn arsenal. This one is definitely going to stand beside strawberry cheesecake as 
some of my favorites that Liquid Barn has to offer. So just so you guys know, I will be having more Liquid Barn flavorings that I'm going to be doing flavor tests on. As for this Tastemakers kit, it's a very good deal, especially if you're a beginner or if you just want a unicorn bottle and a 60 ml of flavoring. Because again, you get the 60 ml of flavoring, you get the Tastemaker card, you don't have to do any measurements. You just put it right up to the bottle, 12% flavoring, you fill it up to 12%. You put your base in, you shake it up, you give it some time, and boom, there you go. You have an awesome, tasty e-liquid. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I definitely would recommend the White Chocolate Peppermint from Liquid Barn. Great flavor. No wonder why it was sold out last time. I am so glad they brought it back. So, well done, Liquid Barn. And thank you guys so very much for watching. You guys have yourselves a great day. Peace.